and uh, while the spotlight it is crossing our camera view I just thought that could uh, create nice blinding effect for a second I don't know if, it, if it's gonna work but I, I'll give it a try so now we need to animate our water so select, select with the plane plane selected plane represents our water go to buttons window here and uh, we are going to be changing uh, offset offset Z value on the frame one uh, with your cursor in a buttons window press Y I mean uh, no Y I sorry about my spelling press I to insert the key and choose the offset now go to frame 50 we're on a frame 50 the spotlight has changed angle the camera is closer to our shore and offset Z change the value to 0 0.1 press enter and again press I offset uh, this is not going to be vis visible by pressing the Alt A because uh, here we are. I'm sorry, make sure that you go to frame one. Press Alt A. See the ca the spotlight spinning, the mm, camera getting closer to the shore, but nothing else because we are animating a material. So with this one, we need to wait until our final rendering is done. But make sure that it works. Just watch these numbers. On the frame one, pressing the Alt A, you see the offset Z value growing up, but it's going to stop at 0 0.1 as we set up the thing. So we need to do press Escape. We need to do uh, basically to extend this uh, the same way as we did with the spotlight. So right view change your view from 3d view to IPO curve editor and this is uh, what we need to change so offset Z here select the curve now press here from change it from uh, uh, if it was a light uh, our lighthouse or ground so would be object but now you see it has changed the material select the curve extend mode extrapolation and what happens is the same as with our spotlight uh, so go we are on a frame one and now press alt a and watch the numbers it's not gonna stop at 0 0.1 y anymore but it's gonna continue and continue forever as our spotlight yeah that's about it's just right. Press escape. Change the right view to 3D view again. Spotlight camera and water done. We need to we want to make it rain in our scene. Go to uh, by pressing a seven on the number pad, top view, spacebar, add. First of all this uh, deselect doesn't matter spacebar add mesh plane scale it press G to grab go to the front view by pressing 1 or a little bit higher press tab to go to edit mode press W subdivide multi for this one holding down shift left click make it 20 enter okay oh double and en double enter this plane has got the uh, 20 subdivisions now and for creating the rain effect we need to use the particles so uh, there's a lot of tutorials uh, on YouTube about particles but from my own experience I would rec highly recommend to on the internet just check out this 
in Blender 3D Design Course by Neil Hersigo Harsiga. Sorry, Neil, but this is there. You will find loads of amazing video tutorials. Very good, really. So go for it. Try about particles for us now this is gonna be like a basic uh, rain effect so do not expect too much with a uh, rain plane selected we need to go to object buttons and press this button which is going to bring the particle systems window at new yeah and that's it we need to change the amount to about 8000 yeah, that's about good start 